Good morning, everyone. Today, I'd like to introduce you the ABSR service, providing real-time data ranking in the Iberian Biscay Island region for emergency and search and rescue operators. First of all, I'd like to highlight the key numbers and facts that has motivated the development of this ABSR service. I will briefly introduce the service and how does it work in three small steps and its three main elements. And I will show the first results of the validation of the service in one of the pilot areas, the Ibiza channel. I will describe the benefits for the target users uh, by using the Copernicus Marine Service products using Ibiza service. And I will also show you how are going to be the target and the potential users and how to use the Ibiza service and all the promotional activities carried out in this six months of life. So along these three days, you have been speaking, spoken about a huge amount of data, videos, images, terabytes of download data, but the scientific community might consider other kind of numbers in order to address the user needs. Those numbers are the ones for our Spanish Search and Rescue Agency. 310,000 people assisted in the last 25 years. It is in 2017, 99 people a day, two times more than in 2016 due to the dramatically increase of the immigration. They are distributed in 20 marine um, rescue coordinating centers along our territory. And they are in charge of four areas of responsibility, three times bigger than our national territory. And particularly in the Bay of Biscay, the 50% of the SAR cases are occurring within the four kilometers offshore. And in 2017, almost 5,000 SAR operations were carried out. So IVSARS aims to benefit, at least at the Spanish level, more than 1,500 people, operators, uh, pilots of helicopters, also working in two areas of benefit, marine safety and marine environmental protection. And the methodology used for the IBSR service is going to be validated in four sub-regions of the IB area, the Biscay, Bay of Biscay, the Ibiza Channel, the Strait of Gibraltar, and Gulf of Cadiz. And in order to address the weaknesses of the models in the coastal areas, the forthcoming HF readers uh, are going to be introduced into our catalog. And a part of regional and coastal models, four Copernicus Marine Service models are going to be incorporated also, all of them overlapping into the IB area. Search and rescue and environmental modeling tools from the search and rescue agencies relies on accurate forecasts of currents and winds. But the more data we have, it will ensure the near real-time availability. But more data is not always better. What happens if different outcomes are obtained by using different sources? Certain rescue operators need this data confidence. Reliable currents and winds are crucial to support the marine safety and environmental protection. So the end users, and due also to the increasing of the complexity of the high resolution models, they are requesting uh, skill assessment methodologies with simple metrics and deployed in a user-friendly way at operational basis. IBSR facing the user needs, sorry, will provide this real-time information of the most accurate uh, ocean current forecast in the IV region. And also will facilitate and never substitute the work of the search and rescue operators and emergency responders. How does it work in three steps? In the back end of the service, the model the, will be, uh, the service will simulate the trajectories using all available model forecasts in the region and period of interest. Then it will compare the simulated trajectories versus drifter trajectories or HF radar trajectories available. And then at the end, it will rank the models based on their performance. 
The three main, main elements of the IBSR service are the update database. It is a catalog, so well, uh, all the data will be host and uh, stored, and it will be um, served and displayed. It comprises drifters and HF readers, HF reader available up to April 2019, and OSA model forecast. The second element will be the OSA map viewer, which is a user-friendly graphical interface uh, for displaying the data, and also with other functionalities, as I will show you later. And the skill assessment, the service itself, computing and displaying the information of the skill assessment of the model with simple metrics again. Those are all the products to be integrated into the catalog. OSEAN models will be used as the target sources. They are providing the current forecast. All of them are from Copernicus Marine Service. They are overlapping uh, in somewhere in some region of the Ivy region. And in situ data, by means of drifters and HF radar, they are going to be used as reference sources. And satellite, even if they are not going to be directly integrated into the service, they are going to be used for our regional models, for model assessment and data simulation purposes. This is the viewer of the IBSR service. Uh, once you click on the top right corner on the map, you can see, uh, you can choose different backgrounds at your choice. And we have a search box where you can introduce some keyword or some region of interest. And the table of content is going to display all layers with all available information in this area. So then you can select the layer of interest, display the current forecast or either the observation. And the time slider will help you to go forward or backward or play the animation. By introducing, by entering IB in the search region, the IB model will appear in the table of content. And then you have, there are many different functionalities, like uh, find this layer on the map or customize the appearance, providing opacity, different levels of opacity, different range in the color bars, different color bars, and more info. More info include all metadata included in the CMEMS catalog, like uh, which is the parent model, which, is, which are the forces included in this model, temporal and spatial resolution, for example. Other regional models will be included as complementary data sets. For example, this is a snapshot of SAMPA working on running in the Strait of Gibraltar. And of course, HF radars, available again in, in April, this coming year. And uh, also another functionality, very valuable functionality of the service, based on an Eulerian approach, as usual in the past, you can select a point and compare all data sets available at this point. In this case, we were comparing WMAP, which is a regional model implemented at SASIP, uh, running in the Western Mediterranean, against its parent model, the Siemens uh, from the Mediterranean. If you are happy with the content and with the display, you can save the image in different formats or either the data in order to display, to, to make the plot yourself. And at the right top left corner, again, you can select the skill assessment, the service itself, which is going to be available in November 2019. You can keep on track on our progress on, on the website. And uh, it will compute and display all the information of the skill assessment, providing a map, comparing different simulated uh, and real trajectories, which are the products use uh, for the target or for the reference, the map and the, the table showing the skill scores. These are an, are an example of the reference sources, uh, the drifter <coughs> available in the Copernicus Marine Service from 1999 until the present. I will take an, uh, the advantage of this meeting to prompt the ingestion of drifters um, because the coastal areas need our help. <laughs> As you can see, there is a scarce um, drifters available in the coastal areas, but even if we are aware that many experiments are running and undergoing in these areas. Here you can see the first results on the left, uh, the comparison of the real drifter in red versus the simulated trajectories at daily basis. We are simulating at hourly basis, but only displaying at daily basis. 
And at the end, what we got is the skill score ranging from 0 to 1. 0 lowest skill, 1 highest skill. It is the methodology used in the, after the incident in the Gulf of Mexico and described by UN Wasteware in 2011. At the end, the benefits of the, for the target users of, uh, of using Copernicus Marine Service by Ibisart could be to compile all the information in a single point, to have an uh, updated catalog and inventory of data, to have simple data, simple metrics, sorry, and Ibisart ensured and complement the decision-making support tool of the SAR operator uh, improving and minimizing the response time, optimizing the search area planning, and allocating the resource effectively. And potential and target users are all those government agencies and private companies in charge of search and rescue, marine pollution control, and maritime traffic control. You just have to go into the website and select the area and display. And uh, all those are the, the promotional materials that will it has been done in order to uh, engage the awareness and the usage of IBSR and Copernicus products. And the web is already ready to be delivered on the 15th of November. Um, please so visit this and I would like to acknowledge all the institutions and all other projects supporting this IBSR service. And if I have 34 seconds more, I can play a graphic motion which is going to summarize in 34 seconds everything what I have said in 15 minutes. ¿Cómo podemos mejorar la respuesta ante emergencias en el mar? La predicción de corrientes es crucial para salvamento marítimo y la respuesta ante vertidos. Para ello, se precisan los mejores datos de forma inmediata. Ibisar es un servicio que ofrece información en tiempo real sobre la predicción de corrientes más fiable en la región IBI. Gracias al servicio marino de Copernicus, Ibisar te ayuda a tomar decisiones y contribuye a que nuestros mares sean más limpios y seguros. Ibisar, una respuesta efectiva precisa los datos más fiables. Visita ibisar.es